Hi, my name's Benjamin Atkinson. And in this series, I'm going to be joined by Horse and Country as we travel to different riders to help me with my show jumping and my dressage to make our shows the best that they can be. This is Lights, Camera, Atkinson. Right, so we're here today at Jay Hallam's yard to work on our jumping. So I've done a bit of jumping when I was younger, but not for a long time. So we've got Malik. Now he's going to help us. He's going to be our sort of student today. Well, me and him are both going to be students. And Jay is going to be uh, helping us out a lot. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am looking forward to it. I think you're going to take the, uh, make it difficult for me. Well, I think it'd be good. I think let's uh, saddle up and get on with it, don't you think? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Well, we don't need a saddle, though. What? <laughs> yeah, no saddle, no bridle. Really? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a jumping lesson a bit different. Well, how am I going to tell you to pull or kick? <laughs> I can kick. Oh, okay, just no pulling. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's have a go. I'm really excited to work with Ben actually. He's somebody that I've seen on the circuit a little bit and admire the work that he does. So I think it's going to be really interesting and I'm a little bit nervous if I'm being honest. I'm feeling a bit nervous. I don't like being really bad at things, especially like in public. So this is, you know, it's, it's fun, but I've just been on tour doing a lot of clinics and teaching. So it's really good for me to back be, be back being a pupil. So that's, yeah, big turn of events. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to assess the horse with a fresh pair of eyes, assess him. Obviously, I've seen him kind of going around standing on them and all of that malarkey, but actually watch him ride and just see, you know, it's not about egos. It's about helping each other out. I'd consider Ben as one of my friends. So it would be just kind of good to see if I can help him a little bit. And if it improves, he shows it or, or, or not, it would be great. I wanted to improve my jumping because I think there's so much that can be learned from all the different aspects of equestrian sport and to keep improving our performances and not only the performances but the training that we do. I want to try and gather as much knowledge from open-minded equestrians at the top of their sport which is why we're here today with, with Jay so I can pick his brain a bit. Where's your... Where's your bridle and saddle? They, uh, it's not really my thing. You have to clean them. You have to look after them. Okay. I get told off for dropping them on the floor. All right. What are you going to be doing then? I'm going to jump. Like that? Like this, yeah. Really? Yeah, he's nice. He's flat and soft. So we'll be... So I used to do a lot of jumping in the shows like this. And to be honest, I cut it out because I wasn't very good. <laughs> and so part of my thing today is I want to sort of show you where I'm at with him. As, all, as every person having a lesson ever does, I'm going to preface. I'm very rusty. I'm normally better. All of that. But um, yeah, well, if you could have a look at me on him and then hopefully have an idea about how we can. Well, let's have a watch at where you are and then, uh, and then I'll uh, put you on something a bit more uh, used to jump in and see where we go. All right. What do you think? Yeah, ready? All right, let's have a look. I'm so intrigued by this. Good boy. If I was on one of mine now, I'd be gone. I'd just be in, the, in another county. In fact, I just wouldn't even do this with one of mine. This guy's a nutter. Hop. Oh, crikey. Got some work to do here. First impression, the guy's a NASA. <laughs> you just come straight in the skull and jump straight round. 
You're half cranky, you are. <laughs> Hello. What's this? <laughs> That's very good. God, you're half mad. Straight in here, off you go. Well, we actually were fair weather riders and warmed up in the indoor while you were out here getting wet. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. He's such a dude. He's amazing. How long have you had him? Um, all his life, so I got him as a weanling at six months, so he's 11 now, and yeah. And what age did you start doing all of your training with him, right from the start? I started, well, yeah, about, probably he was about two. Started doing a lot And what him. is he? He's, his dad is an Andalusian, and his mum is a brown and white gypsy cob. So what you get is like a nice pretty Spanish horse with an off switch. Ah, interesting. It's really cute. I want to have a go. <laughs> <laughs> good lad. Well, I think it's time that you rode uh, one of my good old faithful horses, VIP, who the Horse and Country viewers have seen plenty of. He's been around a long time, but hopefully he's going to show you a few new tricks. A bit like you. Yeah, hopefully so. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Radio. <laughs> Which way are we going? I'm following way, you. Yeah. <laughs> the man's nuts. Like, I'm actually speechless. How he is brave enough, firstly, to do that. I thought I was brave, but that's verging on stupid. Um, yeah, I'm just completely... I've seen the shows, but I just can't believe that he can come to a big open arena and still do it. Do you know what I mean? And I mean, there's lots of things that we can tidy up and I'm just actually in awe of the whole amazingness of the Atkinson, basically. OK, so VIP is an old boy. Just give him a moment just to walk around and have a little stretch. As you can see, he's uh, got slightly snatchy hind legs. Can you feel him walk like this from underneath you? Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that works off a little bit, bless him. He's good and sound otherwise. So the thing that I noticed with Malik uh, a little bit is your, obviously rideability is a bit of an interesting word to say to somebody that's just ridden without any uh, tack on. But uh, I think you need a little bit more discipline to your routine yep. and your jumping lines. Okay. So we're gonna have a go with doing that with Vip today. Um, obviously your rhythm is naturally quite good, but I think that if you can improve your lines a little bit, it will give you a bit more of a chance. Yeah. So have a little, have a little drop round on Vip, get to feel him. You can keep a nice even contact with him. You actually look quite good in a saddle then. He should work quite nicely. He'll probably start a little bit excited because there's people here and we're filming and he's a big show off. You're definitely going to get a few spooks at the sign. But he should work pretty correctly right from the start. Maintain a Elias level contact with him all the time so you've got a light bit of weight in your hands all the time with him. And then you can just go round, round the jumps a little bit. And every time you go past the Lemure sign, just think about a little bit of inside bend and put your left, uh, your inside leg on and move him into it rather than pulling him away from it. Oh, Vippy. Good. But then just shorten up your reins a little bit and then when you go to do it, move him off the left leg and then keep the outside hand a little bit more. Oh, look, that was a fancy canter. Good. I think your seat's good. I think those people that have said that you haven't got a good seat is, is, is mean. It's mean? Yeah, really mean. I would just, yeah, just think about keeping your knees soft and the weight down to your heel. That's good. It. Because he's sensitive enough that you only have to make a small little correction. Hello. But all you've got to make sure that you do there, when he spooks, you don't want to come behind your balance and throw him off balance. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Well, you just kind of came up past your vertical a little bit and then he switches out. That's it. Shorten your reins again. You have to ride level. You have yeah. to ride on the strides that the course's course designer has built. So therefore, you have to make your canter that canter all the time. Oh, have you taught him a new trick? 
It's bow. Yeah, bow bit. Sorry, is this not loud? Um, not really. Don't but tell he, me. He gets away with anything. It's I fine. don't know. He can do whatever he wants. Push and push and push. Keep turning, keep turning. Yeah, we're not really getting any difference here, are we? Sorry. That's all right, come on. Keep pushing. There you go, that's getting bigger. Good, and then back. It's just to show that you've got a range of gears. Good, because he does the small, pretty stuff really easily. Good, and then go bigger again and push him forward. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Just one, one squeeze forward. Go on, there you go. And then back again. Very good. Do you want to do a little change somewhere and come and have a go on the other rein? Yeah. So when you do a change, just think collect and then ask for the change. Okay, that's fine. That was a show jumping change. We're going to do some canter poles on a turn, which is my favourite exercise in the world and I've done it till it's dead. Right. But the really good thing about it is because it's on a circle, you're riding with a connection from the leg to the hand. Yeah. Okay, you're as the rider producing uh, a rhythm and you're even though the line is on a curve, you are producing a line and the rest is down to him. Good. Okay, so what happened there? Well, I met it. You met it good. Did I meet it good? Yeah, you didn't meet it too bad, but because the canter was too small, he then launched and reached. Yeah. So then you didn't have enough canter and then your balance went back well, I, and your the, reins got long. So the moment I felt him go, say, I'm jumping, I just thought, I've buried you in this horribly. Don't get gobbed. Good. Good. And because you've produced a better rhythm, your strides are getting better and better. Good. Very good. Let's just do that the other way, Ben. Again, you've just got to make sure that your reins don't get longer and longer. This is kind of relevant with your ones as well, because the thing is what people don't realise when you're show jumping is that the more consistent you can be with your takeoff spot, the more confidence they get as well. Yeah. And by doing this exercise, they're always kind of getting to the point of taking off at the same place. So then they yeah. grow in confidence. Well, which link, so like everything I teach is the three C's, clarity, consistency, confidence. Clear in your goal how you ask for it, consistently ask for the same movement or behavior in the same way every time, horse becomes confident in. I've just seen a whole new side of you. That. I didn't think that there was that much depth in, in there. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's have a... that, yeah, to me, that like links in. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is amazing. But I think everything we do, whether it's the dressage lot or whatever, it, you know, there is, a, there is a common link. Yeah. Apart from us loving our horses and everything else, with a level of training, with yeah. liberty or whatever, it's trying to have that consistency so that it's black and white and not grey, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, it's making it as the right answer as easy to find for yeah. them as possible. Let's have a go on the left rein and then we'll move on because I've got a few tricks up my sleeve for you. I think he's coming along all right. We'll see how it goes in the, the next session. But yeah, I think, he's, I think he's got a bit of potential, Ben. I'm quietly impressed by the whole situation. Right, we're going to change it up. We're going to run down some lines. Amazing. I'll be really nice to you. And I'm going to give you a place in rail. So the other observation I made about you and Malik. Yeah. Is you were coming to this jump yeah from here too much time doing jump offs on ponies that doesn't help with the training diabolical when you're training your horse every time i jump a horse i imagine that i've got all the time in the world and i imagine that i'm jumping on a roller coaster track Right. And I never ever deviate from the line. What's that pole for at the end? To go around it. Right, good, I'm glad I asked. Yeah, why, what were you thinking? Well, well first I thought, it's a bloody sharp right hand turn, but we'll be all right. 
And then I was like, oh, he wants me to jump and then stop and live, live with the pole. Oh, no. I was like, no. That's we're going, later. That's we're later. going round the pole. Okay, so into your canter. You've got the pole, your one stride, straight line. Just keep a bigger canter the whole way down the line. Leg, come, 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 come. Move up, move up. Very good. Oh, what happened to your straightness? <laughs> Your first bit was really good, but you've got no discipline. Well, I you got need halfway. a firm hand, it's not good enough. I got halfway and then I was like, oh, six strides, one, two, oh, we're here. And then I was like. No, that was fun. You then collapsed in a, like a back of a potato. Because I thought I got my striding wrong, so I no, just threw my life at him. Bang on, keep your chin up, ride forward, back in the plate, ride the turn. Good, and press, and move up, come on. Okay, a lot straighter, which was better, but what would you say about the distance that time? What would you say? Would you say that you got there too soon or not soon enough? You ended up being a bit far away, basically, I didn't you? I stood it off a bit. Yeah, you ended up standing off. So what do you need to do? Lengthen the stride. Yeah, so you need to have more canter. So you need to land and close your leg on the first couple of strides to, to make sure you get there. And then your, your, your turn after was very good. Oh, OK. Got it? <laughs> I'm keeping them small for you. Little bit of a leg at the water tray. Nice canter rhythm, don't cut your turn. Leg, good, move up, good. Bum in the saddle, finish your line. Look, keep the canter. Good, straight, leg, good, look up. Nailed it! Boom! Woo! Woo! That was really good! Right, let's make it a bit harder. Good, leg. Move up a little and then sit quiet. Very good, look where you're going. Press, eyes up, move. Finish your line. Good, look. Look at the jump. Stay tall. Very good. Finish the line. Easy. Nailed it. That was really good. All right, you're a little bit loose on your last line, but you see a really good distance. Oh, thank you very much. I'm really surprised. You just put me on a very good horse. I have put you on a very good horse. Oh, it's so relevant to all sorts. So like the liberties work to the, when I'm standing on them, doing it as well. But even down to just thinking about, it sounds ridiculous, but like you just saying about like pushing off each of the hind legs, the transfer of that, the idea of a horse finding confidence through straightness to lengthen the stride and build yeah. overall strength and almost confidence within their own body movement to reduce the chance of rushing, to reduce the idea of, you know, hesitation and all of that. It, yeah, it makes You've just said really a whole insane. load of words and all I'm doing is looking into your eyes. Sorry, what I'm unpacking my brain, but it, like, <laughs> what you've said has really sunk in and is going to help with about because a especially dozen if you're different standing problems. Up on one, surely you want it to be like train line straight because you don't want it to jump a fence and dart off that way or push off one leg because then you're not stable on yeah, top. Yeah, massive. Well, and especially, they can't... So I've thought a lot, I've th through today we've been doing this, I need to go home and jump my horses that I stand on, riding them in tack, doing this. Because if they're not pushing off their legs straight, then that could be what, that's, you know, they crash into each other sometimes yeah. and their lines are bad. So, so unless they can get straightness. So I wonder then you do like the, what I call the tram lines at the top yeah. to help practice tunnel yeah. the straightness with them. It's a fantastic it, idea. Even the, the circle exercise, Yeah. even if you have to put tack on to train them to be stronger, to be better, or yeah. without the tack, whatever. It's an amazing idea. Yeah, this is great. Very good. I'm, I'm, I'm 
honestly really really impressed what we're going to do next is we're going to bring my horse back out and we're going to try and use the skills that i've just learned with jay to help my horse improve his jumping and to help in help improve me uh, helping malik um so i've put some guide rails down to help with the straightness as you can see i i'm not worried about the actual jumps i'm worried about your preparation as we've just kind of d uh, d seen so why don't you just come round, have a little uh canter around and see if you can canter just a straight line like we did with vip originally and then we build it up to a jump. Okay. Can you do that? Oh, walk to canter. Look at that. Oh, you're already cutting the corner. I would take a circle, Ben. That, that was like a pirouette spin. Oh, hello. Now you're showing off. Um, I think he needs to be more away from your inside leg, you know. Because he's coming around the turn like this, anticipating. Yeah. Needs to come that way around the turn. Right. I'm ditching this because I don't need it. Yeah. Such a minimalist. Right. So what do you want me to do? I just want you to come along the long side straighter. Yeah. And see if you can go forward around the turn without him crabbing in, anticipating the turn. Okay. Can you get that with bareback and no bridle? I'm so scared. Every time I watch Ben doing anything like this, I'm just getting nervous about when it's my turn. Good. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, much straighter, but there you had ca ten canter strides. I had what? Ten canter strides. So his strides really short. Can you be a bit more free rail, free rein? <laughs> Seems ironic saying that. Go on, see if you can go a bit bigger. Good, bigger, bigger, bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, getting there. Because. By doing that, it's going to help when you then have a jump at the bottom because he's just got a little bit more engine. Yeah. He's not he's not designed to jump. He wasn't bred to jump, was he? Yeah. So most of these horses, if you go too slow, you're basically then you've got no engine. Yeah. And he needs to have a little bit more forward momentum to be able to push. So it could almost be that he's, when I feel like he's rushing, it's actually him telling me, he's we not need to move more than this. Yeah, he needs to go more than that. 100%. Good boy. It's a very, very scary tray. Have you got it? <laughs> Come Welcome. on, boy. Good boy. Oh, have we got a refusal already? No, we just need some confidence building. We're in storing confidence. Yeah. Come on, boy. Come. Very perfect. perfect. Yeah, right. Let's nail it. Just like VIP. Oh, he wanted a hug then. Bit more canter. See if you can go bigger, bigger, bigger. Good. Push. Good. Really good. Oh. Oh, oh, there's the bad habit. I forgot my line, I forgot my line. Yes. That's where we're going wrong, Benji. Forward and straight, come on. Much better. Look up, look where you're going. Good, forward, forward, positive. Good, and go. Finish the line. Good, keep coming forward. Forward and straight, eyes up, go on. Push, hop. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> you didn't say hop early enough. 
<laughs> you were actually doing really well. I think you just didn't get him going enough. Yeah, I didn't have enough leg on, did I? No. But ah! and that's why I'm like Which is you, what yeah. You're getting stuck in a I need to let him move more. You've got to he's he's he needs pace and a bit of space. Yeah. Because he's got to pick the canter up good, stay in a rhythm. Very good. Get the rhythm. Eyes up. Look forward, look forward, look forward. You look down, stop looking down. Good. Rhythm. Good, look at the next jump. There. Very good, give him a pat. And then that time, he then jumped off both sides because he went from the left rein, landed on the right leg, and then stayed on the line. And don't get confused with me saying, go forward and then charging at the jump because you've got to try and have the same canter through the turn as you have at the jump. And yes. what happens is I think sometimes where you're trying to get the steering, you go small, to get the straightness rather than getting him a bit more big, bigger in the canter through the turn and then he wobbles more because he's small. So D yeah, but allowing the, like, put the power in round the turn and so then, then do you don't nothing. have to mess around yeah. when you're on the straight. If you're having to kick or pull when you get to the jump, the canter's not right. Whether you've got tack on or not. Yeah, yeah. You need to be able to have him more fluid through the turn so then he's got loads of engine in his canter and then he can do his job. And it was actually, all right, it wasn't perfect, but there were definite signs of improvement when he had a bigger canter. Because when he's small and then you then have to send him, you're then like, you're throwing the seesaw out the wrong way, aren't you? Yeah. The balance just goes. Yeah. And he needs, you know, he's not a Ferrari, is he? He needs, he needs the revs up. Yeah, exactly. He's no, so cute. The difference you can feel, like what you did, do it there a couple of times, yeah. three times, and it felt, like felt better every time all right i'm pleased with that i think we uh had a good session and i'm hoping that you kind of felt the difference well there is a difference between the two obviously but oh, hopefully but it's given you some food for thought with your training when when you're doing your ones at home oh massively no that i really really can't thank you enough it's been incredible i thought it was going to be fun i didn't realize it would be this mind-blowing as well so thank you good I'm uh, I'm now getting even more fear about the next episode. <laughs> you were good to me, so I'll I'll look after you. Be nice to me, Ben. That's it for our first episode. Don't forget to come back to see me put Jay through his paces, doing something a little bit different. Come on. Odor. Are you I get odor, such a fat odor, face in a riding hat. So I actually what with those chiselled cheekbones? Oh goodness. I've, I can't reach any buttons from here. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like you don't understand? The longer I do it, the more likely it is that I'm going to mess it up and it all feels like it's been a really nice day so far. <laughs> the, uh, the most memorable part of today would be Jay making me breakfast this morning. It's time for some lights, camera Atkinson.